weekend guys oh it's saturday i chose to film on possibly one of the hottest days of the year i've got a massive job ahead of me today so this is very much well needed it is two o'clock by the way it's not just like morning time like nine o'clock and i've got up and had a gym but anyway hey everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel firstly apologies if i look a hot sweaty mess today honestly it's 30 degrees outside i feel like i say this in a lot of my videos whenever it's warm but genuinely when you're trying to film on a hot day i feel like your makeup's just constantly sweaty and shiny i'm powdering like 24 7 at the moment um and yeah it's just a little bit uncomfortable so yeah just wanted to let you know that but anyway today as you can see from the title i'm doing a wardrobe organization this is so long overdue on my channel you guys have been asking for a sort of wardrobe organization video for the longest time ever since i got my pax wardrobe system from ikea if you haven't watched that video on my channel then i will leave it in the description bar below because i did do a whole video about my wardrobes and what i bought from ikea um it is the ikea pax wardrobes as i said Today, I'm finally organising them. I feel like ever since I got them, I've not really had a proper system and structure and organisation in place with them. I feel like it's one of those things where you need to like get to know your wardrobes before you can do that, if that makes sense. And I've also had a few issues with my wardrobes. So when they basically was assembled, they were done wrong. So I've had to get Michelin to rectify them. I actually had to go and buy new drawers in the end. It was the drawers that were a mess, nothing else. It was just the drawers, but... Obviously, it's still like another £100. I think I had to pay for all new drawers because they're assembled wrong. And the thing is with flat packs is once they're assembled wrong, they're so hard to sort of rectify. So, yeah, that's been a bit of a mess. So, as you'll see when I show you the current state of my room, there's just clothes in bags everywhere because I had to take all the clothes out of the drawers, put them in bags. So, oh my goodness, it's been driving me absolutely mental. Anybody that relates to like mess and stuff, I just hate it and I hate not knowing where my clothes are. I feel like I've been living. I tell you how I feel like I've been living for the last two weeks out of a suitcase. Like so many of my clothes are in these bags and I'm having to scramble through these bags looking for clothes that I need and then I end up getting all the mess out of the bag and it's just been a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, that is all going to change today because we're doing a deep, clean and organisation. I'm going to be showing you exactly how I organise my wardrobes. I have got a few little gadgets to help me along the way. And I'm also going to be using the Marie Kondo way today of tidying and organising. Oh my goodness, if you guys haven't checked her out, literally her organisation skills and just the hacks for organising are absolute game changing. So yeah, I'm going to be sharing and sharing all of that with you. By the way, I'm no means an expert. It's only something that I fairly recently come across. I think one of you guys left a comment in one of my videos um, to say check it out. And I've been obsessed with watching those videos. Um, I believe there's a Netflix series on it as well, which I'm definitely going to have to check out. But yeah, she basically implements a lot of like really clever folding and also implements like a really good mentality with organising and how to decide whether you should keep something and stuff so anyway we'll talk more about that in the video let's just get on so anyway if you want to see my deep clean slash organization of my walk-in wardrobe then please continue watching okay so first of all before we actually get into the video let me show you the before i just wanted to share a few things that i have in preparation for this video to help me organize so first of all i just have some sort of like wardrobe inserts like dividers just to help organize for example like your bra um and sock drawer anything like that so yeah these are from ikea they were five pounds you can get them on amazon fairly cheap as well but yeah i grabbed a couple of packs of those i do actually have some in my wardrobes already so yeah i didn't need too many and then i also picked up this which is like vinyl um it's like a sticky back i don't actually know if i'll use a sticky back but i got this just to put down in my new drawers that i have for all of my beauty products so yeah i didn't want to obviously get the bottoms of them ruined and if anything does spill on then i can just simply wipe it quite easily i've also got a lint roller to hand just in case you do come across any clothes that need defluffing and last but not least the final item that i have just ready and waiting to help me for when we start organizing is my tfl steamer which you guys know i'm so obsessed with this by the way this isn't a paid ad or anything although i do have like a working relationship with tfl but oh my god since i got introduced to this steamer i have just been obsessed i've never picked up an iron since because these are just so much quicker and easier honestly if you don't have a steamer you need to get one 
as it comes to actually organizing all of my clothes, no doubt there's gonna be so many things that are creased and the last thing I wanna do is put creased things in my wardrobe. So this is where this is gonna come in so handy, just a quick steam across them and they're gonna be in my wardrobe all crease free. So yeah, these are absolute game changers. So anyway, moving on to the before. Oh my God, this looks absolutely awful. Everyone's gonna be thinking, oh my God, you live like an absolute tramp, but genuinely I never have my room like this. Bear in mind that all of these bags have clothes in that were supposed to be in these drawers. But like I said, because the drawers have had to be redone, I've had to take them out. And that's why there's just literally clothes everywhere. It would never normally be in this state. Um, so let me just show you the current state. So I have got obviously things out because I've been getting ready. Um, we have coats currently here. I feel like I need to change this up because I never even really reach for these. I'm going into autumn, um, but even still, I feel like I won't really need these for a while yet, hopefully. So I think I'm going to put them in this wardrobe here where my coats actually do currently live. So yeah, there definitely is space for the coats in here. So I'm just gonna make this the coat wardrobe. Um, and then I feel like we'll just have like more blazers, thinner coats and cardigans here. Then we've got my shoes, which obviously just needs a real good organization and clean as well. Because one of the things I do wanna mention about these Ikea Pax wardrobe guys is they do collect dust. So many of you warned me and sort of mentioned this to me when I got them, but I just feel like they look so aesthetically pleasing that I was like, yeah, it's fine. But they collect dust like there's no tomorrow. So yeah, all of these shoes need coming off. We need to have a good clean of the shelves. Um, same with the bags. Down there, I keep sort of underwear and socks, so they need a good tidy. Piano, I feel like I need to get rid of this out of here because as you can see, I can't open my drawers fully, which is really annoying. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to take this out and put it maybe in my bedroom or something. Then we move around to here. And honestly, this side of my wardrobe, I just feel like has no organization. We have trousers here, of course, but again, they need organizing a little bit more. And here we have tops, but again, I just really need to go through everything and decide what to keep and what not. Like I need to look at something and say, when was the last time I actually wore this? Will I wear it again? And if not, then either put it in a charity pile or put it on eBay. Um, then in the middle section, we have sweaters and going out clothes. And then we have like summer stuff here. And then obviously we have drawers going down here, which I normally keep my gym wear stuff in. I mean, I don't actually know where I'm gonna put everything because then I also have a couple of drawers here. So yeah, we've got a lot of decisions to make, but oh my goodness, guys, it is so hot in here. There is so much to do. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop you on a time lapse now, do a voiceover and let's get into the organizing. Okay, so I thought I would start with the left-hand side of the wardrobe room. So as you can see, I'm just currently taking out all of the coats, trench coats and blazers. That is what currently lives here. For me personally, I like to work with a blank canvas. So I like to take everything out and I'm just popping it onto my stool in my room and then I'll go through each thing individually and decide whether to, you know recycle it take it to the charity shop put it on ebay or simply keep it but obviously i wanted to be quite strict with what i kept um and obviously if you go to the marie Kondo way she always says does it spark joy so how i was sort of looking at things is does this piece of clothing make me happy do i wear it when did i last wear it like i asked myself a bunch of questions and if i if it doesn't make me feel happy then what's the point of putting it back in my wardrobe because i'm just not gonna wear it so yeah i was quite strict with myself in that respect next up i'm just taking some window and glass spray because now the area is clear i can obviously clean down this surface nice and easily I also forgot to mention that I'm changing all of my hangers in the wardrobe whilst I do this process. So at the moment currently, everything's a bit mishmash. So I really wanted the same hangers to run the whole way through my wardrobe. So I've just got these black velvet ones. I got them from Amazon. They're really inexpensive in comparison to like getting them in store. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting them from Amazon. Um, and I also got some black velvet trouser ones as well. So yeah, all I'm simply doing now is going through all of the items, swapping them over, trying things on and seeing if I actually like it as well because I think sometimes when you don't try things on and just put it back in your wardrobe, you can very easily not wear it. You might like how it looks on the hanger but then when you try it on, you remember, oh actually I don't like the fit of this. So yeah, please excuse the mirror phase when I try things on, I really can't help it. <laughs> I 
and then moving around to the coat side of the wardrobe again I'm just going through everything and taking out what I'm not going to wear this season because obviously the thing is with my job I do get kind of sent so many new season styles so yeah I thought I would just get rid of some because then I can make room for new ones. Okay, so coats all organized and put away. Moving on to a little bit of steaming, as I did mention at the beginning of the video, a new rule for me going forward now is to always put items back into my wardrobe, freshly steamed and crease free, because I just feel like when I don't do this, I am so less likely to reach for an item. Honestly, the amount of blazers that have been in my wardrobe that I love, but just don't wear because I can't be bothered to steam them or don't have time because I'm like grabbing a jacket in a rush. So yeah, this is a real rule for me now. And you know, I don't even need to harp on about this steam. I love it so much. I think I might actually have a discount code. So if I do, I will leave it in the description box for you guys. But yeah, um, this is definitely going to be something that I ensure I do going forward. Okay, working our way onto the next part of the wardrobe, which is one of my favourite parts, and it is my shoe shelving unit. Um, so, as I have mentioned before, this gets incredibly dusty, and not only do the shelves get dusty, but the shoes get dusty as well. So, I'm just taking everything off, cleaning down all the shelves just with some polish, and then I'm just thinking where I'm going to rearrange things. So, I want it to go from sort of like flats upwards to heels, upwards to boots, upwards to long boots. Does that make sense? So we go like from small to like larger items, if that makes sense. And then as with all of my wardrobe, I'm obviously trying to color coordinate it as best as I can, just because I feel like this looks more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> By the way, if you notice this video sort of jumps from daytime to nighttime and I'm wearing different clothes at different points, it's honestly because this took me so long. It was a job that definitely took me a good week at least, honestly. It's just one of them that's so tedious as well and you sort of lose motivation and honestly, when you've got as many clothes and just stuff everywhere like me, yeah, it's just hard work. So um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so moving on to the bag section. So again, just working my way through getting all the bags out initially, polishing down so it's all nice and clean for when they go back in, and just sort of picking each bag up. Do I use it? Do I not? Um, again, like putting it in a pile. Um, and then how I'm putting them back is I'm just putting just the most aesthetically pleasing ones at the front, and then just sort of lining them up like neatly um, to the back of the ones that are up the front if that makes any sense at all um, and again I'm trying to sort of colour coordinate them just because it is an open wardrobe and it just looks better that way. And then moving on to the underwear drawer, literally just grabbing everything out as per usual. Then I'm just gonna quickly polish and clean it down. And then I'm just gonna take my organizer inserts, pop them in, and then just neatly put everything back in. Okay. 
Okay, moving on to these accessory drawers. Honestly, these are a nightmare for dust. You have to dust them probably every three days. They collect dust like no tomorrow. So I'm just taking everything out, um, giving it a good old deep clean, and then just placing everything back in neatly. Okay, moving on to the side of the wardrobe that I have been dreading. Oh God, this is just chaotic. Um, so this is the before. So I'm just gonna get started first of all with the trousers. So taking all of them out and changing the hangers. There was just such an assortment of hangers and when you have different hangers, they don't hang the same like level um, and it was just super annoying. So yeah, went through and changed all of them to the correct ones and then as you can see here, there was a pair of jeans just shoved back in my wardrobe, really creased, so just taking my steamer once again and going over these. Okay, and then moving up to the top section, again, I'm just grabbing everything out, I'm gonna go through what I'm keeping, what I'm not, and then placing it back in, again, all uniformed hangers. Okay, so for my gym wear drawers, I actually decided to do the Murray Condu method of folding. Probably not as neat as she would like it. Um, but yeah, if you want to know how to fold like her, there's so many videos on YouTube and Pinterest. So yeah, that's how I did it. And I really, really like this organization system. Okay guys, just thought I would stop and show you a little update of where I'm at. So, this is so overcrowded now because I was going to have like normal tops here, like everyday tops, bodysuits, crop tops, all that sort of stuff there. And then sweats, but I've got way too many sweats. There's shirts in the middle there as well, sorry. So, I'm on to obviously this section of the wardrobe now. These are my last two bits to do. So what I was thinking is I've just literally cleared a whole load. And um, I'll show you them out here actually. I've just popped them into these two bags and then I will get them. Do you know them bags, that, like the suction bags? I will get some suction bags. So this is all my summer stuff. Like there's no point of having, sorry, it's still a mess everywhere on the floor. Um, there's no point in having all your summer stuff out when, you know, we're heading into a new season. I'm not obviously going to wear that for the next six months. So you best just to get rid of all your summer stuff, put them in the little su suction bags. You can put them up the loft if you've got the loft or, you know, just put them in a space out of the way and then it clears a big chunk in your wardrobe and gives you loads of room for obviously all your autumn stuff because autumn winter stuff is so bulky. Like my coat cupboard is actually overflowing now. So I may even need to take some of them out and um, maybe just put some of the thinner things like trench coats into one of these eventually and um, because yeah it's getting a bit crazy so I'm still just working my way through this like for example that 
I'm not going to be wearing in autumn winter. So anything that I'm just going to look at and think, oh, that's a bit more summery, I'm not going to wear it. I'm just going to put it away so I've got more space. But I think I'm going to transfer jumpers over to here. Um, and then I'm going to have like jumpsuits, I think. And then like going out stuff here. I mean, I don't go out that much, so I don't think there should be too much going out stuff. Um, but we shall see. But yeah, I just thought I'd update you with where I am because I feel like this is just such a long process you don't realize how long it is and then it's one of them jobs that you think oh my god why did i start this anyway let's get back on Okay, so skipping forward a million years later, although it seems like it's been that long, because honestly, this has took me such a long time, guys. I'm gonna show you the finished result. I feel like we're nearly there. There's a few things that need doing still, which I will share and show you. Um, so yeah, obviously, as you can see, much tidier and straighter. Everything's put away. So I'm just gonna quickly run you through where everything is, how I've organized it, um, and how it's just a little bit easier for me now. So when you come in to my wardrobe room, we have, excuse all the mess outside, I haven't actually sorted all that out yet, that's another job. Um, but we have just this chest here, which is from Ikea. Now this has all my beauty stuff in. I was gonna show you this, but honestly, it just took so long and um, I just thought I'd quickly run you through what I've done. So very simple, I've just put organizers in each um, drawer and I also put this black stuff. It's like black um, sticky back, oh, what's it called? Just like a drawer liner, so if anything does spill, it doesn't go on the bottom of your drawer. So we've got like hair care in here, so we've just got like hair care products, um, hair brushes, bubbles, scrunchies, that sort of thing. And then in here, we just have like a ton of sheet masks, Foreo, there's so many bits and bobs in there. Um, it's not like overly organized. A few face creams in there. A lot of my face stuff is actually in my bathroom, like in my ensuite. I've got a big thing in there full of like all the stuff I use daily. So this is just like bits and bobs just in this room in case I need anything. It's got some cellar waters. Um, and then again in this drawer we've just got body creams. And then in here we have fake tan. Oh my goodness, look at that fake tan mitt, it's awful. Um, so yeah, that's a little rundown of that. I've not got anything in these two yet. Then we come to this mahusive um, wardrobe. So this is actually a built-in wardrobe. So if we look in the first section, we have all of my coats. So I've sort of like color coordinated them as well. There is so many in there. It is actually a bit too full to the brim. So what I think I will do is I haven't organized this side yet. There's only actually, let me just show you this, right? I haven't organized or cleaned this bit. So please ignore, this wasn't part of the clean video. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this bit's a little bit messy. So there's actually like makeup in there, brushes in there, palettes in there. And obviously this side just isn't organized. So I still need to go through that. And I feel like I might put trench coats here just so I've then got more space for like chunky coats in there. Um, again, these aren't organized, so I'm going to do that at another date. It's just a lot in one go, guys, honestly. Okay, then we come around to my actual wardrobe. Um, so we've got cardigans, blazers, well, jackets and blazers all organized there. And then if I move down, we have sunglasses, bit of jewelry. I don't really have that much jewelry. More watches than anything. Um, a few belts. Again, don't really own that many belts. And then these drawers still need sorted. I need to buy some like more like organizers and stuff. But for now, I've just quickly put my, my curlers and my hair dryer in there. And then in the bottom, there is nothing. Um, right, God, I feel like I'm out of breath. Then we come to shoes. So that just looks much better now. So we've got trainers at the bottom, more well, flats at the bottom, trainers, heels, like going out shoes. Oh my goodness, we are missing a pair. One second, be right back. Da da! <laughs> it's like they was always there. Honestly, that really bugs me when, you know, like you've just got a missing space on the shelf. Um, so yeah, then we've got heels, like going out shoes, and they go all the way back as well. <laughs> and then we have boots. And then at the top, we have like more knee high boots. Um, but yeah, I'm struggling to space. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, so that's all of that. 
Then we move on to bags. So this is all my bags now. Nice and neat. To be fair, I have all these bags, but I feel like I wear the same ones all the time. And it's like literally about two or three. Then I've just got a couple of hats there. And then in these drawers, we have bras. Do you know like your sort of um, lace bras, like the non-padded bras? Then we've just got some more padded bras, some like chill bras. Then we have just like fungs. Then we have slipper socks in there. So moving over to here, I actually have a few drawers free. So let me know what I could put in there, like what I could fold up and put in there because obviously I do have loads of clothes and it's only gonna get crazier as the months go on and we enter a new season obviously i have chucked out so much um which by the way if you want to know where my clothes will be going it all goes on ebay um let me know if you want a depop as well i feel like what i love about ebay is you just get rid of it you know there's no messing around whereas depop it, sometimes things are on there for a while and you know with having so much i just want to get rid um so i could probably put some on ebay some on depop let me know um but my mum deals with all of that i will leave the um ebay in the description bar then socks so i was gonna do that um is it maria Commodi? oh i completely forgot the name i was gonna do that method of folding but you know what like when you do your washing the last thing you can be bothered to do is fold everything i just find it easy just to do your normal sock thing for them. And then in this one, we have odds and sods. I didn't want to chuck them away because I know what will happen. Like I will come across one of them again. And then, um, yeah, so just left them in there for now. Then we have joggers all neatly folded away. So we've got joggers there to be fair. I feel like maybe we can put more joggers in here. Um, because yeah, they're a bit like over piling, over spilling. Um, so yeah, joggers there. Then we've got sort of like leggings here. Um, cycle shorts and some shorts there then we have gym attire here all folded away quite neatly for me I must say probably not as neat as some people's you know like make them all perfect and stuff but I think this is neat enough so I'm happy with that <laughs> um, and then around to the hanging space on this side. So we have going out stuff here. I really minimise this down because obviously it's a new season. A lot of my stuff was um, for summer and also like I say, with my job, getting sent so much stuff, I feel like the turnaround of clothes is just crazy. Obviously, I keep things and I don't just wear everything at once. You know, I do have like a few staples in here, such as like a black blazer dress. Um, I wore this for New Year's last year. I don't want to chuck this away because I just absolutely love it. And I probably will wear that again in the Christmas season if we can go out because it's just such a thin dress. Um, but there are a lot of things that... I may wear ones and then just think, you know what, I'm not going to wear it again. So that's what I sort of did with a lot of my going out stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's that. Then we move on to a couple of jumpsuits. Okay, and then we move on to sort of jumpsuit. I think there's a couple of like play suits in there as well. Because I feel like you can still wear play suits in autumn. Wear them with like a nice pair of boots and a blazer. And then all here is just sweaters. So just sweaters, jumpers, whatever you want to call them there. And then onto this section, we have bodysuits here. And then more like thinner tops here. Like bralettes, um, t-shirts. So I sort of know my organisation there, so that's cool. Um, and then I've got shirts and then knitwear, which we haven't got much of yet, but I know that's gonna get like even more full. So maybe this could be knitwear. Yeah, that could be an idea. I don't know, but at least I've got an empty drawer. I'm quite pleased with that. And then finally, we move on to trousers. Um, I think there's a few pairs of shorts there that I may need to put away for summer again, just to clear some space up. But yeah, these are my trousers. I'm so pleased with how they are now. They're all on the same hangers, all hanging nice. I mean, they do sort of drag on the bottom. I think that rail could probably do with going up one, but then, I don't know, it's just a hard one. But yeah, much better. And it's colour coordinated, which is making me very, very happy. So yeah, this is my finished tidied organized and decluttered walk-in wardrobe oh i feel like a new person honestly i feel like when everything's tidy you just feel so content and happy as i mentioned at the beginning all of this is from ikea if you are wondering um but yeah really really hope you have enjoyed this declutter and organize with me thank you all so much for watching and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye